Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video. Today we are going to talk about Rococo's recently announced competition, Love at First Move. This is an amazing opportunity, not only to win insane prizes, but also to try Rococo's new AI mocap technology, which they showcase in this context. It's completely free to join and use the software. So what can you do with such software? Let me show you my submission for the challenge. So, this was my hopefully fun little submission for the challenge. Let me show you my workflow for a scene like this. First, we have to go to the Rococo website, where we have to go and find the Rococo video. If I go over some things fairly quickly in this video, you can always check out their website, because there are plenty of tutorials and great educational videos to get you started. When you have signed into your free account, you will be sent to this page where you can create a new scene. I will call mine Challenge Rococo. Then you get the option to either record a video directly with your webcam or use footage you have on your computer. Since I don't have a webcam, I usually use something pre-recorded. This is a video of me standing in my living room looking stupid. I cut the bit out of the video that I like and then I just click on the button, turn to animation. And then I let Rococo do the magic. It takes a few minutes to process the video, but when it's done, it sends the data directly over to Rococo Studio. Uh, wait, what? I, I don't have Rococo Studio. Well, fear not, just go to the website and download Rococo Studio. It's that easy. Oh, me you ask? I'm just downloading Rococo Studio. Because it's easy, because it's fast, and because I needed to continue this video. Once you have downloaded and are signed into Rococo Studio, you get to their main page. Then you have to go under projects, and as you can see, my challenge Rococo scene is already set up for me. I double click on the project and on the new recording one to see my mocap data. And as you can see, this looks amazing. This is actually a pretty bad example, since I am really happy with my data as it is. I will therefore not be changing anything about the animation here in Rococo Studio. But if you watch their intro videos for Rococo Studio, you will find out that there is a lot you can do to save a bad mocap recording. But there are already super good videos on YouTube that explains this very well. So I will simply export my mocap data as it is. I right click on my recording and say add to export list. I've already done this and then I press export clips. If you press an open folder you can see where your FBX is located. It's that easy. I then open Blender with both my character rig and my mocap data. I found that I get the best results if my character is in a T-pose. So I simply rig my character using Mixamo, which is a free online software that allows you to easily rig any character. On the left I have my mocap data, which I now want to retarget to my main character. Luckily Rococo have their own plugin for Blender, which you can go download on their website. You simply install it like any other plugin. As you can see in the add-on tab to the left, we have a category called retargeting. We get the option to choose the source and the target armatures. The source armature is the one with the animation that we want to retarget. And the target is the armature that we want to receive the animation. It's that easy. Then we want to press build bone list. Then the Rococo plugin tries to match the bones from our source armature with the target armature. Usually it does a pretty okay job, but sometimes you have to adjust the bones. Then we're gonna press on retarget animation and let's see the result. I'm pretty happy with the result. This is very good and very clean animation. And what do I mean by clean animation? Well, sometimes when you use mocap data, you get these small jitters in the bones. And it just looks bad, because it looks like the mocap data hasn't been processed at all. We have now made a perfect retarget of our animation, so what can we do now? Well, by using Mixamo's own free plugin for Blender, we can simply just tap on the normal rig of our character and turn it into an IK rig, which makes it much easier to change the animation going forward. The next step is quite time consuming. You can either keep the animation as it is, that is also great, but if you want to improve your animation even more, or maybe change it, then you can do as follows. This is a new scene with the same animation. What you want to do is scrub through your timeline, and then look for the most important keyframes. This is the keyframes with the most change in the animation. Then you want to delete the rest, and this goes for all the bones. So select all of the bones, and only keep the most important keyframes. This takes a little while to do, but when you're done, and if you set the interpolation mode of all the keyframes to constant, then you get what is called a blocking, which is a great start for a good animation. Even though this process takes a bit of time, it's still way faster than create a blocking from scratch. If we change the interpolation mode back to Bezier, you get this smooth animation. It's not perfect at all, so now it's time to change it. 
so let's set some new keyframes and quickly change this animation to make it look better. I like the general animation that my mocap data provides, so I'm just gonna exaggerate some of the movements. It only took around 10 minutes to do the exaggerated movements, and let's see the result. The new animation is on the left, and the old animation is on the right. I think the new animation looks way more organic, and there's a lot more going on with the feet and the shift of weight, which gives it a more realistic feel. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something from my workflow. You should definitely try out Rococo's new AI mocap software, it's amazing. I'll see you in the next video.